Hey there, Photo Universe. All right, <laughs> so we are um, <clears throat> coming back. We did the uh, 15 millimeter Pentax Limited. Now we're going to do the 21 Limited. So that's the box it comes in. And um, <clears throat> for a size comparison, the silver first limited edition K5, that's the one with the special glass and the different grip. And uh, that's the 21 on there. And for size comparison, now this does have the Kirk BLK7, which is the L bracket. Um, can't do video with the L bracket because my microphone won't plug in there. So I don't use the L bracket for video. That's pretty much for landscapes only, but that's my landscape camera. That's the uh, Pentax uh, DA Star 16, 16 to 50. So there's a size comparison. Okay, so look at that. That makes that camera look huge. The L bracket doesn't help, but. So there's that for size comparison. So there's the, uh, let's just get that out of here. So there's the 21. Look how tiny that is. What a great focal length, a great walk around lens for uh, street photography. Fantastic. So it's uh, 3.2 is the maximum aperture. It's a limited lens, so your contrast and your color saturation is beautiful. Gives you that nth degree. Sharpness, I mean, it is a pancake design, so sharpness is good from 3.2, 4, F5, 6, F8. Uh, diffraction starts kicking in around F8, F11. So it's sharpest around F5, 6, but it's not that much sharper. So um, so feel free to shoot this at any. You know, kick on the SR on your K5 and, and, and shoot away. Um, great lens, fantastic. Beautiful depth of, uh, depth of field, hyperfocal distance markings on there. Um, so I can quickly come over here. Oh, also you can, you can touch up your focus at any time with this. It's one of the DA Limiteds. So um, I'll tell you right now, at f8, you're looking at like uh, four feet to infinities in focus. So at f11, you're talking maybe three feet to infinity. That's what's beautiful about those hyperfocal distance scales. I mean, really for, you know, you just don't need to focus. You can just put it on manual and just hyperfocal distance it. It makes life a lot easier. Um, that's the old film, film days tricks when we used to have lenses like this. Uh, I enjoy using it that way, particularly for street photography. Um, put the, uh, you know, just lovely. So um, it's sharper at f5.6 in the corners. Um, at f4, you know, it's a little sharper in the corners, a little, little softer in the corner. Not anything horrible. I mean, it, the lens is a, it's a fantastic. All these limited lenses are great. Some are more great, like the 31, 1.8, but the 21, uh, 32 is a great lens. Um, really enjoy shooting at it. You know, this is one of the few lenses I run without a protective filter on it because I love that lens hood. Check out that lens hood, metal lens hood, really goofy, right? So there's your lens hood and it's just, it bayonets on there and it's actually threaded also for filters. So you can thread a 49 millimeter filter on there. So it's adaptable to all my filters, but I don't run it with a filter because you can't run the lens hood with a filter. And that doesn't bother me at all. I really like that lens hood. It's fun. And I mean, what quality. It's just, just beautiful. Reminds me of the old uh, Hasselblad Zeiss uh, bayonet lens hoods. They weren't shaped like that, but the way it clicks in there. So if you get this lens, you'll see what I'm talking about. Just run it without a filter, no big deal. It's recessed in behind this lens hood. You, you, it, it, I like it. And the typical uh, Pentax cap and beautiful, there it is. So the 21, great sharpness, resolution's excellent. Color saturation is wonderful. Contrast is fantastic. A really enjoyable lens to shoot. Um, and let's talk about the focal length, 21 millimeter. That translates to about 31, 32 in full frame. That's a great, I mean, if you're gonna grab one lens, this is it. Cause it's, 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 you know, you could argue you could grab the 31, that's like a 50, but you want to be a little, a little wider, I think, and you can always crop a little bit. 
Um, all the photographs taken at the beginning of this video were taken with, the, with this 21 right here. Um, picked up one of those new Dodge Power Wagons. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, I had to take some pictures of that. Kind of fun. So, there it is. All right, so there's the 21 millimeter. Uh, if you have any questions about it, just pop them in the comments. I'll try to get to them. You know, this photo universe thing, it's a blessing because it's starting to get a little out of control. Um, I really can't keep track of the comments. It's kind of overwhelming. I'm getting like 10, 15, 20 subscribers a day, and there's a lot of comments. And every once in a while, I wade through them, but I just don't, I mean, I'm, I just redid my flight instructor, um, my FAA flight instructor course. And so busy, 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 you know, that's where I've been the past couple of weeks is hammering out those tests. So anyway, well, that's Photo Universe and uh, that's the 21 millimeter review. Um, what would I rate this lens? I'd rate this lens a, a 9.5 out of 10. It's a great lens. There's no uh, nothing to fault it. Love everything about it. Um, would I trade a faster aperture for a bigger size? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. I like the size, it would be nice to have a faster aperture. I mean, I like the 31 and it's a 1.8 and it's a bigger lens, but it's not like a 16 to 50 zoom. So yeah, maybe a little faster aperture would be nice. I mean, if they came out with a 20 millimeter 2.0, I'd probably jump all over that, but probably have both, right? So, all right, well, hey, that's Ed with Photo Universe. And so there it is, 21. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. We'll see if I can get to them. And I appreciate the support. I really enjoy doing this. And, and the video quality is getting better. You might hear the birds and everything. I went outside, the light's kind of nice. It's kind of cold here in June up here in Oregon, but, um, but nice light. So anyway, okay, Ed with Photo Universe, appreciate it. Have a good one, thanks, bye.